everyone in this lecture today i'm going to talk to you about basic terminologies in next generation sequencing so what are those basic terminologies i'm going to cover what is sequencing library what is sequencing adapter what is coverage and what is sequencing depth so the first point is what is a sequencing library a sequencing library refers to a pool of DNA fragments that are prepared and organized for high throughput sequencing. Let's say that we have here DNA and this DNA is frag fragmented and we get a pool of DNA fragments and this pool of DNA fragments that is called sequencing library. So why there is a need to fragment the DNA and prepare a library in next generation sequencing because DNA samples obtained from the biological sources they are very large to be directly sequenced by the sequencing machine therefore the DNA samples needs to be fragmented so that uh, the sequencing mas machine can sequence those DNA fragments then what is a sequencing adapter Adapters are short pieces of DNA that are around 80 bases in length. They are attached to the DNA fragments of interest to be combined with the primers for amplification. So sequencing adapters also have another function. They bind to the DNA linkers on the flow cells of the sequencing machine, flow cell solid surface. So basically these DNA uh, these uh, sequencing adapters bind to the DNA linkers on the flow cells solid surface al allowing the next generation sequencing workflow stays to occur. So adapters have two functions. What are adap adapters? Adapters are around 80 bases in length. They are attached to the DNA fragments of interest to be combined with primers for amplification. And adapters also bind to the DNA linkers on flow cells solid surface. This is from the single cell sequencing machine, allowing, uh, allowing the next generation sequencing workflows sequencing stays to occur. There can be different kinds of adapters. For example, single index adapter, dual index adapter, or XN UDI UMI adapter. So then what, what these different parts of these adapters what do they mean and what are their functions? So this part here, flow cell binding surface, platform specific, specific sequences for library binding the instrument. So this is flow cell uh, binding binding sequence. Okay, this sequence here and this sequence here is the flow cell binding sequence. And then the next part is SP1. SP1 is a sequencing primer site. So basically binding sites for general sequencing primer, SP1 and SP2, they are the primer binding sites. And then the next is sample indexes. So basically short sequences, especially to give a given sample library. So these, this is sample index. Okay. Uh, so this, this one here is also sample index. And Molecular index or barcode. So what is molecular index? This symbol here indicates molecular index or barcode. So basically this is a molecular index UMI, molecular index or barcode and insert. So this here in the middle is the insert. Okay, this is the insert. So insert is target DNA or RNA fragment from a given library. So sequencing adapter has different parts. So the parts are flow cell binding sequence, sequencing primer sites, sample indexes, molecular indexes or barcode so molecular indexes or barcode they are sh short sequences that are used to uniquely tag each molecule in a given sample library and of course target dna or aragon fragments from a given sample library then what is a read a read refers to the dna sequence from one fragment okay so in our library, we have a, what we do is that we fragment the DNA into multiple fragments and the read from one fragment. So what is a read? Read is a DNA sequence. This is the sequence, DNA sequence, DNA sequence from one fragment. That is called a read. 
So, okay, the, the DNA sequence from this fragment is a read. The DNA sequence from this one here, A, Z, C, T, that is also another read. The DNA sequence from this fragment here, A, Z, C, T, that is also another read. So, read refers to the DNA sequence from one fragment, okay? That is the definition of read, okay? And what is coverage in next generation sequencing? So, coverage describes the average number of reads that align to or cover known reference bases. So these are the reads and the average number of reads that align to or cover the reference bases that is called coverage. Coverage in terms of the percentage coverage of a reference by reads. For example, if 90% of a reference is covered by the reads and not 10%, it is a 90% coverage. So as an example here, we have a reference sequence here and these are reads, read sequences. If these reads cover, okay, 90% of the reference is covered on an average by these reads, that is called 90% coverage, okay? 10% of the reference is not covered, but 90% is covered. This part is not covered as you can see, but 90% is covered. So 90% coverage means that 90% of a reference is covered by the reads and remaining 10% of the reference is not covered. So basically, coverage is area covered by reads uh, in comparison to, uh, relative to the reference area. So how much of the area is covered by the reads of the reference area that is called coverage. And then, what is sequencing depth? Sequencing depth refers to the number of times a particular nucleotide is read during the sequencing process. Okay, the number of times a particular nucleotide is read during the sequencing process that is called sequencing depth. So let's say that these are different reads and as you can see that the nucleotide Z, okay, has been read multiple times. So one, two, three, four, five, six times here, okay? This is the reference sequence. And this, uh, so the nucleotide G has been read six times. So the sequencing depth will be six X, okay? So sequencing depth refers to the number of times a particular nucleotide is read during the sequencing process. That's the sequencing depth. So sequencing depth is, an, is expressed as an average. For example, 100x depth. This means that on average, each nucleotide in the sequence region, okay? 100x depth means that each nucleotide in the sequence region was read 100 times, okay? 100x sequencing depth means that each nucleotide in the sequence region was read 100 times.